Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and in this video, I'm going to explain how to uh, build and deliver a WordPress website by using AWS services like uh, EC2 and uh, RDS. So I'm going to EC2 instance as a front end and RDS, I'm going to use it as a back end database. All right, so I'm going to use a default VPC only. I'm not going to concentrate much on the networking part. I'm going to use a default VPC to run this database as well as our uh, uh, EC2 instance. So first let's go to RDS and let's uh, create a database. And I'm going to use MySQL. Go to DB instances, click on create database and um, i'm going to choose mysql here and i'm going with the default engine version and I'm, i i will use this free tier uh, benefit so i'm selecting free tier so then what is the db instance identifier you want to get so yt iphone um, wordpress is the name i'm giving and master username i'm going to call it as a admin and master password i'm setting up like a i'm setting up a standard password all right so yeah and configuration you can go with the t3 micro or t4g micro as we selected free tier it lists out only free tier ones only so we are good with gp220 gb not going to enable storage auto scaling and my ec2 instance is not ready yet i will enable connectivity between my instance and database after uh, instance launch so i'm going to choose don't connect to an ec2 compute resources and i'm going with default vpc subnet group also default public access i'm going to set it to no so why because i don't want to make my database accessible over the internet so my ec2 instance also is runs in same uh, vpc right so i can go with this no for this public access option and i'm going to create a new security group i'm going to call this as a uh, wordpress iphone sg and again i'm going with password authentication here and initial database um you can leave it as a blank or you can uh, give i'm not going to enable automated backup it will take some time encryption it's your choice so logs if you want to enable you can enable minor version upgrade whenever any minor version comes you want to allow aws to upgrade it to latest version so you can enable this not really interested and click on create database so important thing here the username password you have configured for this database and security group also we have to adjust see whenever we are creating this cluster right rds uh, instance we selected we, we selected to create a new security group what happens that new security group opens with port number 3306 but it opens to the currently connected network so for example currently i'm in home network so that home ip address it is going to pick so if you are going to use same uh, to get connected from your ec2 instance it may not work so you have to adjust this security group so i'll keep this window open so this database creation is going to take some time so meanwhile i will launch an ec2 instance i will get connected to it and i'll start preparing it so I'm going to take Amazon Linux 2 and I'm going to install MySQL to get connected to it to prepare some databases. So then I'm going to install PHP. So basically we need LAMP stack. L means Linux, A means Apache, um, L-A-M, M means MySQL, P means uh, PHP. So we have to install all this. So let's go to EC2 dashboard. So then click on instances. See, I have a thought, uh, okay. So I'm going to uh, create uh, two more projects in this AWS that covers multiple services within a uh, 
private sub private subnets with including vpc settings as well so you can treat this uh, video or project as a uh, entry level one why because i'm not uh, taking any like a vpc kind of things i'm just going to use default vpc but in real environments we don't use this default vpc much for our production workloads all right launch instance i'm going to call this instance as a uh, wordpress iphone web i'm going to take amazon linux 2 ami i'm taking t2 micro i'm using an existing security group uh sorry existing key pair and security group i'm going to create a new security group also i'm going to open http traffic also and i'm going to call this as wp iphone web iphone server she okay right uh, 8 gigs is fine for us then click on launch instance right my instance is ready and my database also ready when you click on this view connection details right it will show you what is a username what is a master password what is an endpoint name so this information we really required let me keep this window open and this ec2 instance also launched right so it opened with the pub it allocated with a public ip address so you can adjust this rds security group edit inbound rules so what you can do you can open this mysql you can give this security group of your uh, wordpress web server so this is security group uh, of uh, wordpress web server so you can use this option or you simply grab this ec2 instance uh, private ip address open 3306 and give that ip address slash 32 so web private ip or you can simply open it for everyone but if you don't adjust your rds security group you cannot get connected to this database from our ec2 instance all right my instance also ready let's get connected to this instance all right click on connect and um, connectivity is establishing so i'm going to elevate my privileges to root all right let me increase font size bit okay so now uh, as a first thing what we need to do we have to install mysql client so why we need to install mysql client the reason whatever the rds we have created right so i i want to connect to this rds cluster and i want to prepare a database for our wordpress uh, website and i'm going to create a user and i'm going to give permission on that wordpress database for this newly created user okay so if you want to use uh, admin user yes you can use that but admin user will have more privileges right so it's not recommended to use at application level okay and in this project i'm going to use this um, um, uh, submit like you know php code and i'm going to hard code so the db user and db password information i'm going to hard code so definitely it's recommended to create a user that have permission only on wordpress database we are creating so for that first yam install mysql so once that installation is completed so then I'm going to take this uh, RDS endpoint and I'm going to export it as a MySQL host. So for that, I'm going to replace. So I'll make this all commands available uh, via GitHub. Okay, so MySQL host I have uh, updated. Now I need to get connected to this MySQL. So for that, this is a command. So mysql iphone h is nothing but host name you enter host name iphone capital p what on what port number this database is running iphone u what is a username iphone p so then it will prompt us to enter the password let's execute this asking for password 
I have given my password and I got connected. If you are not able to get connect here, the problem is with the security group of your database, not your EC2 instance. All right, I got connected here. So then I'm going to create a database and the database name is WordPress. All right, let's get that here. Database created. So then as I told you, I'm going to create a user called WordPress. So, or you can do one thing, WordPress USR or user. Okay, I have calling this guy as a WordPress user. So then get that. So now a user also created and password I have given Avinash1234 for this user. So now whatever the user we created here for this user provide all permission on the database we created with the name called WordPress. So this star means it represents all tables and everything. Okay, so let's give that here. The permissions as we modified the permissions it's recommended to flush the privileges so all right we did all the required changes then i'm going to exit from this mysql all right i came back to my ec2 instance again connected to my database created a database created a user for this created user i have given full permission on this database and flush the privileges and exited so now so the MySQL part is completed. We will keep the database aside. So now what we need to do. So we have to install Apache. So this is a command. Yum install stdpd. Yum install stdpd iphone y. And uh, once installation is completed, start the service. Service stdpd start. Service got started. If you want to make it as a logon service, chk config stdpd on it become as a logon service all right so now i'm going to take a wordpress template so generally i have installed this apache and i'm delivering right so if i take this public ip if i paste it in browser okay i should get a test page so whenever we are getting this test page that means the apache installation is success all right, so the installation part is done. We are good with that. So now we, uh, I'm going to install a WordPress template. Okay, so then that comes as a zipped file. Then I'm going to unzip by using tar command. So once you unzip, you are going to get this zipped folder as well as unzipped folder. I'm going into this unzipped folder okay and within this unzipped wordpress folder we have a file called wp config iphone sample i'm going to rename it to wp iphone config.php then i'm going to edit and this information i'm going to place so i'm going to adjust my database name db user db password as well as host information all right let's do that now so firstly um go to this um, location we perform the copy okay so yeah let me execute that i'm downloading so currently i don't have any files here and uh, a wordpress template is downloading all right how we can confirm you type ls you see that zip file zz file is there so let's unzip that file. So for that, we can simply use this tar command, tar xdf. So then you can give that file. Now it's unzipped. How we can verify? Give ls. You see this WordPress folder is there. If you go inside this WordPress directory, if you give ls, you can see all this. So this file, wp config file is there, right? So we are going to use this wp config file okay aws given a sample one i'm going to take that sample one and i'm going to call this as a wp iphone config.php okay wp iphone config sample and i'm going to call this as a wp iphone config.php all right so you gave ls you see wp iphone config.php okay so let's edit this file 
So, but before editing, if you observe cat wp iphone config dot php so this is what that uh, file contains so you have to adjust multiple things so one is you have to adjust this where your database is and second thing you need to generate some authentication tokens uh, by navigating to this specific link and you need to replace that here all right so let's uh, update that vim wp config dot php so now my database name is wordpress ah, not sure why it is not working All right, uh, see some problem with the VAM editor. Uh, I will do one thing. So I'm going to take all this information. I will edit in my local laptop, then I will uh, place that here. Oops, this copy operation also not working properly. Okay. Let me copy this. I'm going to take a new tab. All right. So if you observe here, yeah. So the DB name, our database name is WordPress. So whatever the name we have given here, WordPress. So DB user is WordPress user. So you enter that uh, here. TV password, I think I have given Avinash1234. I'm using same here. And uh, DB host is nothing but our uh, database uh, endpoint, DB instance endpoint. Let's copy that and replace this local host. All right, so along with that, as I told you, we need to navigate to this specific uh, link in your browser. And automatically we got this information, right? You simply copy this and uh, replace that here. All right, so we are good with this. So now, let's go and uh, modify this file so i'm using this wp iphone config.php um, i'm going to use this uh, delete option press escape 100 double d is going to delete uh, 100 lines we have and i'm going to paste the one we prepared Press escape colon wq. All right, let me just double check whether everything is copied or not. Okay, everything is copied. So we are good with the WordPress configuration file. So we have completed this WordPress configuration file. But if you observe, these all files are in .php format. We haven't installed PHP yet. So now I'm going to install PHP. So for that, I'm going to use Amazon Linux Extras repository. So just copy that and enter that here. So now the PHP installation is happening. Once PHP installation is happening, so then you uh, navigate to this home uh, easy to iPhone user directory and whatever uh, data or uh, in whatever location you unzipped and all right in that location uh, you copy everything you have under this uh, wordpress website to this var www html so then that is going to deliver as a web page 
So even if you want to test the PHP installation, you can simply create a PHP info uh, page. So then you can even test that. All right. So now the installation is completed. Now all my data is here in this location. So the the zip file and WordPress. So what I'm doing, whatever the data I have inside this WordPress, I'm moving it to var .html path. So inside this WordPress directory, all the files I'm going to copy to var .html. So the reason, so this test page, right? So it's going to um, delivered from document root path called var www.html. I'm copying there. Okay, so omitted directory. So we have to recursively. Why? Because cp command works only for files. Okay, so let's overwrite everything. Uh, instead of that, I should delay it first. But yeah, we started right. Okay, seems we have a lot of files. Okay, it's completed. So now if we go inside this var www.html, if you give ls, we can see all the data, the WordPress related data. So now how to test this? So before testing this, so better to restart the service. Okay, so the command is service stdpd restart. So just restart the service and one service restarted you go to this test page instance public IP address give a refresh we should get this WordPress installation page so now you see here it is asking me what is the site title you want to give okay I'm going to call this site as a Avinash YT demo WordPress what is the username you want to give Avinash and what is the password for this website some randomly generated one. So what is the email you want to associate? So you want to discover search engine. Yes, select it, then install WordPress. So when you click on install WordPress, if you get this success message, that is absolutely fine. But if it is giving any error, like a fail to connect to database and all, or if it is simply showing like, you know, some PHP code and all, so that means it's a problem with your PHP installation or problem with database connectivity. Now you go here, log in and whatever the username and password you have set up, you can give that. And whatever the template we have created, right? If you, or, or whatever the one we deployed, right? You can simply give that IP address here. And you see this Avinash YT demo template. So we can go here, we can access. So if you want to log in, so just a minute back, here we have this password right so you take this password and now if you decided to edit this like uh, sorry if you decided to edit this template and all so what you can do you can go to this login page wp login.php and you gave your username I think my i have given username as avinash then click on login so then we landed to this WordPress admin template. So now you go to this uh, like um, uh, themes, appearances, which theme currently you are using, click on theme. You can customize this, right? Whatever the edit you want to do, you can do all the edits here. So just simply publish so that everyone can access this. So currently, this is what it is, right? And I'm going to edit commitment to innovation and sustainability. A place to learn AWS. Okay, so then uh, some title AWS for everyone is Avinash Moto. So now I did my changes. I'm going to click on save. Click on save. Now the changes are saving. Okay, so now let's test this. You take this public IP address, you take an incognito window if you really want to test this. You see this? A place to learn AWS, 
right you can you can just take a minute you can start modifying this you can start uh, um, like you know you just log in and you can start publishing some posts and all so everything here uh, we are using ec2 instance and backend rds as a database right so that is how exactly we can deliver wordpress website by using a individual ec2 instance and a backend rds database i hope you guys like this video and if you want more content in this manner if you um, want to encourage me you can take a minute and you go to youtube and search for aws webinars ready and uh, subscribe so don't forget to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel to get more updates on uh, aws and uh, devops related services all right that's it for this video see you again uh, in next video thank you